so let's take it to give some more clarity to how how it could be applied in a in a more like a, take a simple example. How does the strategist, so someone is a bond trader or a or a fixed income um, or maybe an FX, how how do you see someone uh, applying this with uh, taking driverless AI and converting a recipe that's specific? Um, how do you see the whole workflow um, in a in a micro in a simple example? If you could describe mm -hmm. for the audience, yeah, I think I think there was a, um, a period where we worked on the recipes that enabled most of this, right? So it's effectively being able to inject what you already know into the tool and reuse all, all the components you might already have in place, mm -hmm. so that you use driverless AI for only what it focuses on. And you know, for the job, it does really, really well. So that could be it in the form of the recipes you, you went through quickly. So transformers, I think they are effectively f feature engineering mm -hmm. tools. Mm -hmm. And transformers effectively are, are, are where you, you capture a big part of the subject matter expertise. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, given the computational That's constraints, right. time and, and your computation constraints, you, you, we don't have luxury to, and the size of the data, the overfitting risk, non-stationarity of time series, all these constraints, uh, that means that we need to come up with relevant features, and that requires a lot of subject matter expertise. So that's where you can inject your SME into, into the uh, workbench, effectively, into the workflow. And of course, there's the models. Again, what models will be suitable for, for the problem you are trying to solve again is a classical machine learning or deep learning. Again, given the size of the data, what sort of um, again scores you want to use, and that that matters a lot as well because your utility function may not be a simple, mm -hmm. um, uh, effectively inverse of the uh, loss function like mean square error. It could be much more complex than mm -hmm. that. So when you when you optimize the model, you want multiple constraints to be met based on what part of the business you are you are sitting really so it may not be just the uh, accurate predictions but it could be lots of other things that is important for your business so by uh, injecting the right uh, score for, for your business that means you are effectively reflecting the right utility function that matters to your business to train your model yes so th these are the ways I think we find very useful to customize and put our SAB into. <coughs>